In this video, we're going to solve the problem which appeared in J May 2023. It's a problem uh, basically from the theory of equation. So here, to solve this particular problem, right, we need to find out or you have to analyze the mod function. So here we need to analyze the function uh, equation that x mod x minus 5 times of mod x plus 2 uh, plus 6 equal to 0. And we need to find out the number of real roots for this particular equation. So let's go ahead and solve this problem. Obvious. First, we consider the given equation. Now here we understand that that here the given equation that involved the modulus function. First modulus function is mod x and second one is that mod x plus 2. So we need to write down the definition or of the modulus function. So using the definition, we can say that mod x is equal to plus x when x is greater than or equal to 0 and it's equal to minus x when x is less than 0. Now let's go ahead and try to sketch the mod x. So that's why we consider a horizontal axis and a vertical axis and we mark the point origin right because x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 is the origin. So now we know that when x is greater than or equal to 0 it's actually y equal to x line. So that's why we draw a line which is y equal to x. When x is less than 0 we are talking about y equal to minus x. So it's a line perpendicular to y equal to x line so that's why we just draw that. So that's the mod function for mod x. Now we consider the second mod function available in the function that the equation that is mod of x plus 2. So if the mod of x plus 2 will be equal to plus x plus 2 that means that sign will not change when x plus 2 is greater than z equal to 0. That's why x is greater than or equal to minus 2 and in otherwise it will be put at the minus sign and it will be x less than minus 2. So that's the second definition. So that's why to, if we want to sketch that, first we need to consider the point x is equal to minus 2 and when x is greater than or equal to minus 2, it's actually a line y equal to x plus 2 and in the other side it will be y is equal to minus x and minus 2. So therefore, we are able to rewrite all the function, modulus function in a normal form. Now we need to write down, right, the equation in different domain right uh, because in see that we if we we need to, if we, uh, from minus infinity to minus 2 minus 2 to 0 0 to infinity right in these three domain right the all the function will change okay so let's go ahead we consider the case one which represent the region x less than minus 2 so in the region when we talk about that x is less than minus 2, let's mark that region, right? Minus infinity to minus 2. So in this domain, you can easily see that modulus of x is equal to minus x and mod of x plus 2 will be minus x minus 2. So that's why the given equation, right, can be easily rewritten as by the definition in this domain as mod x is replaced by minus x and mod x plus 2 will be replaced by minus x and minus 2. Now if I do the cross multiplication right and able to simplify the equation we get the equation as x square minus 5x minus 16 and that's equal to 0. So obviously it's a quadratic equation so that using the basic general formula of a quadratic equation we can find the values of x. So here x will be computed step by step by substituting that uh, uh, formula that b square minus is a minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4c that basic formula we can understand that the roots or the zeros of this equation right technically roots of this equation are actually 2.5 plus minus square root of 89 by 2 right that's obvious very straightforward calculation now we need to find out that is these values or is that roots or the zeros are lies inside this interval. Now see that we don't have a calculator. If we have a calculator, we can easily calculate the square root of 89 and I try to identify the value. So that's why we have to estimate this two per square root of 89 by two values, right? So that's why we consider, right, uh, two appropriate values in this region. So first of all, we can easily understand that 2.5 plus 8. 
square root of 89 by 2. This 89 by 2 is actually a positive number. So 2.5 plus something will be greater than 2.5. So this is not an issue. But to understand the minus sign, right? First, we consider, right, that 89 is lies between 81 and 100. Now, why we choose that 81 and 100? Because these two numbers, right, are actually, right, a complete square, right, near to that 89. Now, if we do the square root, right, so therefore square root of 89 is lies between 9 and 10. So therefore, if I divide both sides by 2, square root of 89 by 2 lies between 4.5 and 5. Now, if we multiply by the minus sign, right, so then the sign, if we apply or multiply by minus 1, the, in, uh, the sign will interchange, right? So the sign interchange means greater than will convert to less than, less than will convert it to uh, greater than. So that's why, right, this, if I multiply by minus uh, 1, right, we can say that minus of 89 by 2 is lies between minus 5 to 4.5. Now we add 2.5 both sides. So therefore, we can say it lies between minus 2.5 to minus 2. So therefore, we can say that, that the given another values is lies between minus 2.5 and minus 2. Now observe that, right? Here we are talking about, right, the region where x is less than minus 2. So therefore, the first uh, uh, solution, that 2.5 plus something, right, will not be accepted. So in this case, the only accepted solution is the second one. So therefore, we identify that for case 1, we have only one zeros, right? So that's why we just put that values approximately in this point. So therefore, it, uh, when we put minus 2.5 and it's minus something, right? So therefore, it lies between the uh, uh, minus 2.5 to minus 2. Hence, it is an accepted solution. So case one, we easily understood. Let's go ahead and discuss what will happen in case So now, in case 2, we can consider the region that it lies between minus 2 to 0, right? So in this region, right, we can easily identify mod x is minus x and mod x plus 2 is x plus 2. Now, if we substitute all these appropriate values, the given equation will be reduced to, in a very simple form, x squared plus 5x plus 4 equal to 0. Now, this equation, we can easily factorize it by middle term. So if we do the middle term factorization, it's equal to x plus 4 into x plus 1 equal to 0. So therefore, x is equal to minus 4 and minus 1, which is very straightforward. Now here, we need to, we are looking to find out the solution in the interval minus 2 to 0. Now, obviously, x equal to minus 4 is less than of minus 2. So that's why we can't accept that as a solution. So the accepted solution will be minus 1 here because it lies between minus uh, 2 to 0. So therefore, in this case, again, we get another solution that is uh, minus 1. So therefore, we now get two solutions in this particular case. Now, only one case is left that is greater than 0. So let's go ahead and understand that case as well. Case 3, we consider that x is greater than 0. In x greater than 0 condition, right, the mod of x is equal to uh, uh, x and mod of x plus 2 is equal to x plus 2. So therefore, our given equation now with the small calculation, it will be reduced to, right, x squared minus 5x minus 4. Now, this equation, right, we cannot solve by middle term factorization. So that's why we use the basic general formula of a quadratic equation and we get the solution as 2.5 plus minus square root of 41 by 2. Now here we understand 25, 2.5, right? So 2.5 minus 41 by 2. So this 2.5 minus 41 by 2 is less than 0. That's very obvious, right? Because uh, 41, right? Nearest value is 36, right? So if I consider that 36, right? That's obviously 6, right? So 6 divided by 2 is 3. So therefore 2.5 minus 3 is less than 0. So we just ignore that. So now we have to understand that its plus sign is also considered okay yes obviously right the plus sign is also considered here right so therefore we can consider that right if we observe that 36 is uh, to 49 in between that 41 is lies between them if we do the square root then divided by 2 then multiplied by minus sign as we did in case 1 right we can understand that 2.5 minus square root of 41 by 2 right is lies between minus 1 
to minus 0 0.5 and hence we can easily identify that that 2.5 with the plus sign is greater than 0 and it's definitely an accepted solution and for this case right uh, we can easily uh, uh, we for acceptance of the solution we should not do this calculation of observe that whatever we perform right but for the uh, less than symbol right we have to also identify that right for there we can easily identify that doesn't belongs to that uh, particular uh, domain so therefore we conclude that that in this domain right that zero greater than zero we'll have another solution right so therefore it is obvious in this particular problem right from my in a minus infinity to plus infinity we have only three solutions so we already found out that we have three solution hence for this particular case we can easily understand option three is the correct answer and that's why option uh, uh, b is the correct choice and that's it. Hope you understood the problem. Thank you.